Hello everybody and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be going over the five bold predictions that I made about the tortured poets department prior to the album come out, coming out. I think I made these predictions like one week, maybe two weeks before the album dropped. Some of these predictions I got so right not even funny. I'm sure if you watched the video, if you remember, you know which ones I got right. There were also some that I got completely wrong. We're going to go through each one and we're going to break down how accurate I was and how inaccurate I was because it's honestly kind of funny how right I was and also how wrong I was. So let's jump into my first prediction that I made, which was that So Long London will be a top three track five song for me. I should also say before we go completely into all of this that a lot of my predictions were very subjective predictions. They were based off of my own personal feelings regarding the album. So just want to say that because for example, So Long London may not be somebody else's top three track five song, but I was right because it is one of my top three track five songs. If you watched my um, Torture Poets Department top 10 song ranking, you will know that I really, really love So Long London. It is one of my favorites on the album and it is one of my top three track five songs of all time. I think I knew it was going to be one of my favorites simply because of the title. I don't know why the title really told me everything I needed to know, but I just... I just knew it was gonna work for me. I knew I was going to love it, and I did. Now, could this ranking change? Could So Long London slip out of the top three track five songs for me? Sure, um, it's definitely possible. But as of right now, my ranking is All Too Well is number one, Dear John is number two, and So Long London is number three, with I think My Tears Ricochet at a very, very, very close fourth. But I think as of right now, I like So Long London just a touch more than My Tears ricochet, ricochet. So I was right about that prediction. Okay, moving on to my second prediction that I had, which was that Fresh Out the Slammer will be the lead single from the album. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I was so wrong <laughs> about this prediction. Obviously we know the lead single was Fortnite featuring Post Malone. I think I was felt, I felt like the title of the song was such a strong title that it was going to be, it made sense in my mind that it would be a lead single. What's funny is that at least for me and maybe other people out there feel differently, Fresh Out the Slammer is like not one of my favorite songs on the album. In fact, it's like kind of low on the list for me in terms of if I were to rank one through 31, it would be towards the bottom. It's not, it's not one of the songs that I've gone back to a bunch of times. It's honestly, for me, it's like I kind of have forgotten about the song, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, so it's definitely wrong about that. <laughs> definitely wrong. Wasn't even close, if I'm being honest, about the fact that this, because Fresh Out the Slammer is kind of like a mid-tempo song. It's, I guess Fortnite is too, but it's just not a song that you would ever see being a single. So Unfortunately, wrong about that prediction. Okay, my third prediction was that Taylor would release more songs that she hadn't announced yet. I was right about that one. I was right, right, right. I I think I felt like because Taylor did the whole Midnight's 3 a.m. thing when she put out Midnight's, I just felt in my gut that there were more songs coming that we didn't know about the whole two thing that she kept holding up all the time. I just felt very strongly that we were gonna get more songs and we did. And how lucky are we that we got an additional 15 songs? Honestly, when she, re when, when she announced the double album at 2 a.m., I was about to have a mental breakdown because I was so tired and I just listened to the first 16 songs that I couldn't mentally get myself like up and ready to listen to another 15 songs. But I am so glad she put out the extra songs because some of those songs are my favorite on the album. So I was very happy to be right about that prediction. Okay, my fourth prediction was that the Florence and the Machine collab will be better than the Post Malone collab. Now, obviously, as I mentioned before, this is a subjective opinion. There are people out there who probably prefer the Post Malone collab to the Florence collab, which obviously is the song Florida. For me personally, 
I was accurate. I was right about this prediction because I personally love the Florence and the Machine collab. I think it is one of the best songs on the album. I think it is so unique. I think it's so different. I don't feel like we, I don't feel like we've heard a Taylor Swift song like Florida ever before. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that for me, it sounds more like a Florence and the Machine song than it sounds like a Taylor Swift song, which I like because I feel like it brought something different to the album. I love how much Florence is on the, on the song. I love that she has a full verse. I love this song so much. I, I like Fortnite. I think it's a good song, but it is not one of my favorites on the album, uh, which maybe is controversial because again, it is the lead single from the album, but it's good. It's not my favorite. And F I think Florida is one of my top five songs on the album, give or take. Like it's definitely up there as one of my absolute favorites. Um, so for me, I was right about that prediction. And then my final prediction that I made was that I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can will be the fan favorite song. And unfortunately, I don't think that that is true. I'm sure there are people out there who really do like that song, but if we're talking about a consensus and like the general public and population, I don't believe that I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can is a fan favorite song. People like it, but it's, it's not one of the ones that people talk about the most. And in fact, my feeling, and you guys can let me know what you think in the comments, but my feeling is that I can do it with a broken heart is like the fan favorite song. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's gone so viral on TikTok and social media that it's really boosted the song. And I think, and it's also a fun song that people can kind of like bop to and put on in their car. Whereas I can fix him, no, really I can. I think I can, what I can fix him no, really I can is like this sort of the um the speed of the song is kind of what I thought I can do it with a broken heart was going to be and vice versa like I kind of felt like I can fix him no, really I can was going to be more up tempo and obviously it's not um but yeah again that's a subjective prediction so it's not like any fact-based prediction but I don't feel like it's it's the fan favorite so great Recapping my predictions, I got a handful of them right. I got a handful of them wrong. I was about 50-50, honestly. I'm pretty proud of myself for predicting that she would put out more songs. I'm sure other people out there also predicted that she put out more songs, but um, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get that right. Um, I am I feel a little bit like I should have known that Fortnite would be the lead single because, I don't know, the Post Malone part of it just kind of threw me off and I thought, will she do another collab as the lead single turns out yes she will um but yeah that that is my i guess analysis or sort of breakdown of the predictions that i made prior to the album coming out i did pretty well not so badly um i would love to know your guys's thoughts on my predictions on the album again as a whole now that we've had a few weeks to digest the album to live with it to have it be with us all your thoughts, your feelings, concerns. What's your favorite song at the moment right now? Like share them in the comments. Would love to know everything. As always, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.